we are given f of one equals two and f prime of one equals negative two. We are asked to estimate the following function values, f of two, f of 1.5, and f of 1.25. From the given information, we will need to use tangent line approximations to approximate these function values. I provided a graph below to help explain the process for approximating these function values. For a quick review, the idea is we can use a tangent line to approximate function values as long as we are near the point of tangency. Notice how on this graph, the red line is tangent to the blue function at x equals one. If we zoom in on the point of tangency and use the red tangent line to approximate, let's say this function value here, the idea is the change of y along the tangent line given by differential y is approximately equal to the change of y along the original function given by this vertical distance, delta y. And we can say that differential y is approximately equal to delta y as long as we are near the point of tangency, which is why we can use a tangent line approximation to approximate function values. Now looking at the horizontal change from this first point to the second point, notice how differential x, the change of x along the tangent line, is equal to delta x, the change of x along the original function. Now let's go back and make our tangent line approximations. To approximate f of two, we will begin with the function value at x equals one, and then add the change of y along the tangent line. And therefore, f of two is approximately equal to f of one plus the change of y along the tangent line is differential y. Remember, differential y is equal to f prime of x times dx, and therefore this is equal to f of one plus differential y is equal to f prime of one times differential x. We know f of one is two, and f prime of one is equal to negative two. Let's determine differential x. Looking at the graph below, we're beginning at the point of tangency where x equals one, and then we're trying to approximate the function value when x equals two. So if we move from x equals one to x equals two, x is increasing by one, and therefore delta x equals differential x equals positive one. Going back to our calculation, this would give us f of one, which equals two, plus f prime of one, which is negative two, times differential x, which is one. This gives us two plus negative two, which is equal to zero. Our tangent line approximation for f of two is equal to zero. If we go back to the graph, looking at the red tangent line, notice how when x equals two, the function value is zero. Looking at the original function though, notice how f of two is actually equal to negative one. This difference of one unit is the error by using this linear approximation. Now let's approximate f of 1.5. We'll begin by using the function value at x equals one, which is f of one, and then add the change of y along the tangent line, which is differential y, which is equal to f of one plus differential y equals, again, f prime of one times differential x. But now differential x is different because we're going from x equals one at the point of tangency to x equals 1.5 which would be approximately here. So because x is increasing by 0 0.5, delta x, which equals differential x, now is equal to 0 0.5. Going back to the calculation, this gives us two, which is f of one, plus f prime of one, which is negative two, times differential x, which is 0 0.5. Negative two times 0 0.5 is negative one, two plus negative one is equal to positive one. Our tangent line approximation for f of 1.5 is positive one. If you look at the red tangent line, notice how when x equals 1.5, the function value from the tangent line is positive one, but the true function value is less than one, approximately here, but notice how for this approximation, the error is very small. And now let's look at one last approximation. We want to approximate f of 1.25 which is approximately equal to the function value at x equals one or f of one, plus the change of y along the tangent line, which is equal to f of one plus f prime of one times differential x. Let's determine differential x. We begin at x equals one and move to x equals 1.25, which is approximately here. 
Notice how we're increasing x by 0 0.25 units, and therefore delta x, or differential x, equals 0 0.25. Going back to our calculation, this gives us 2 plus negative 2 times 0 0.25, or 1 fourth, which gives us 2 plus negative 2 times 0 0.25 is equal to negative 1 half, or negative 0 0.5 which is equal to 1.5. If we go back to the graph one last time, at x equals 1.25, notice how it's almost impossible to determine the difference between the function value given by the tangent line and the true function value of the blue function, which means the error is very, very small when approximating f of 1.25. I hope you found this helpful.